Hey everyone, so yet again I'm going to be showing you guys another collection. Uh, this time around I'm going to be showing you guys my Neo Geo Pocket Color Collection. Uh, of course I have uh, the handheld that I use uh, more often, just the light blue. I'm not sure exactly what the color name is for this, but um, it's a light blue. Um, it works just fine, the screen's a little bit scratched up. Um, but yeah, this one's the one I use more often because this one is in pretty pristine condition. So I just, I leave it inside the box and it's really nice and I just have it up on my shelf back there. Uh, the games I have for this, I don't have that many games. It's just five games altogether and none of them are in their uh, original cases. Uh, none of them have the manuals. Uh, they're just in this, sorry, in these little... Uh, plastic cases like the Game Boy games. So I will start in alphabetical order. First is uh, Dark Arms Beast. Let's see, Beast Buster 1999. Uh, just picked up this game, so I can't say much about it. Uh, Fatal Fury First Contact. Definitely a fun fighter on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Next is King of Fighters R2, Puzzle Bobble Mini, and I've finished the entire game, like all of it, even all the verses and even all the different difficulty levels, like completely done. <laughs> and then uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure, and of course a Sonic game on a handheld without a backlit screen um, at least the screen is of, of somewhat good quality and it's a decent size um, it's not as bad as say Sonic games um, like even Sonic game on the Gamecom just terrible 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 for that for that handheld uh, but at least on the Neo Geo Pocket Color it looks somewhat playable and uh, at least you can actually see the characters moving across the screen. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's all I have uh, to show you guys for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Um, I decided to get into collecting for the Neo Geo Pocket Color just because of its uh, link functions uh, to the Dreamcast because I like the Dreamcast. It's my favorite console. And even on the back here it says links to Sega Dreamcast uh, link cable sold separately. Just down there. Um, and I really, really, really want to get that link cable uh, to test it out because uh, I have some Dreamcast games that are compatible with at least, um, what is it, Fatal Fury and uh, King of Fighters R2 because uh, there was some, uh, some different uh, functions that were unlockable if you had like a Neo Geo Pocket Color game uh, slotted into your Neo Geo Pocket Color and then plugged into your Dreamcast, like there was like added um, added content, and it was a pretty interesting concept. Uh, didn't work out well, and now the cable is worth not a crazy obscene amount of money, but it's still worth more than I'm willing to pay for a link cable. But that's it. That's all I have to say about the Neo Geo Pocket Color, my collection, my minimal collection, but still. Uh, Still worth uh, showing, at least. See ya.